Corsair's Slipstream technology allows you to connect multiple devices to a single USB receiver. And today we're gonna walk through the process on setting that up together. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna to be short and sweet. Uh, there's a few things that we're going to need before we get started. First off, you have to have a Slipstream enabled wireless headset. You can check your guys' hardware if it's Slipstream compatible over on Corsair's website, which I will link down below. And the next thing is you're going to need a USB cable for each one of the devices that you're trying to pair to the single USB receiver. That will make a little bit more sense here in just a moment. So with that being said, let's head on over to the machine and get it started. Once you're at your machine, go ahead and open up your IQ software. It should look something very similar to this. If it's not exact, uh, you might be on an older version. I would recommend updating to the latest version. But from here, you're gonna want to click on your audio headsets dongle. Um, if we tried to do it with any other one, I'll show you here in just a moment, it's not gonna work. So if we click on the Virtuoso, yours might be slightly different. And then down in the bottom left-hand corner next to the additional devices, left click on pair and follow the on-screen prompt. So we're gonna click on pair. Um, I've done this many times through a USB 3.0 hub. I haven't had any issues. If you do have some issues, you may want to try plugging it directly into the motherboard or uh, like a chassis port. So we're gonna click on next. Uh, now it says connect the audio wireless receiver and remove all other slipstream wireless USB receivers. Remember, everything has to be slipstream compatible for this to work. So uh, if we try to do this with a different USB receiver, I'm gonna hit cancel, go over to the, this is the dark course uh, receiver. You can see that it is slipstream compatible, but if I click on the pair down in the bottom left, same message, but again, same message, connect the audio wireless receiver. So that's gonna be the master wireless receiver. So I'm gonna remove the dongle for the mouse itself. Now at this point, you may have some issues controlling the mouse, but you can usually hit tab on your keyboard and then space for next if you don't have any mouse control, or you can just plug in your mouse via the USB cable because that's gonna be our next step anyway. So if we actually just click on space to hit next, you can see connect the USB cable to your mouse. I think they should flip those directions because you need to be able to control the mouse if you don't know about the tab slash space commands or the, you know, the keyboard shortcuts, it'd make things a little bit easier. But anyway, so we're gonna plug it in with the USB. Once it's detected it, the next will now highlight as an option to click. And same thing with the headset, same thing with the other devices that you're trying to connect via the one receiver. Connect the USB cable to the headset and make sure that it's in USB mode. So we'll connect that, it's already in USB mode. So once the system detects it, you can see that the next was now clickable. So we're gonna click on next. Pairing, everything is really quick, it goes by really quick. Um, if you run into hiccups, try doing it again. Like I said, try plugging things directly into the motherboard or your chassis ports if you're running them through a hub. But once you're done there, you can click on done and everything should now be connected to the one receiver. Unplug via all of the USB stuff, turn on all your stuff to the wireless mode, and just verify that everything is connected. So there you have it. Now I'm not sure why we have to use the headphones receiver. We can't use our mouse or our keyboards receiver. My guess is it's either a firmware or just a hardware limitation, or Corsair's just being lazy and doesn't wanna add the capability in the other USB receivers, but that's neither here nor there. So that's the way it is. Check your device compatibility down in the link below. Also, let me know what you guys think of it. If you guys got it working, if you didn't get it working, leave your comments down below and I'll answer those as soon as I can. But as far as this video, that is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you liked it, you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel. Um, and of course, if you wanna check out some other videos that we have that are either gaming related or troubleshooting related, I'll post up a couple videos over there on the right hand side for you that you guys can check out. Uh, but other than that, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>